This show, every year we start with a blank piece of paper and we begin to build it and, you know, it takes on a life of its own. Uh, right now, where we are in our, you know, kind of uh, day and a half away from the show, um, we've still got a lot of rehearsals to do, but for instance, we just finished a, a Bruce Springsteen rehearsal. It's just unbelievable. Um, we're going to open the show with Bruce doing this song, We Take Care of Our Own, which so which says so much about you know who we are as a people. You know, he's been the conscience of of this country for so many years. Born to run, born in the USA, the rising, um, uh, uh, the ghost of Tom Joad. He just you know he reminds us of, of who we are and. It was really important, I think, to start the show off with a message. And that message is so positive and it has so much hope. And at a time when there are troubles, this is the, the, we, couldn't, we couldn't do better than to start the show out with that. Oh, well, I've been doing this show for 32 years. Uh, it's changed an awful lot since the first show I did at the Shrine Auditorium. Uh, you know, it's a little bigger place, our, our home at Staples. Um, it holds a lot more people. But at the end of it, it's still about the music. It's still about, you know, an artist getting on that stage and delivering and doing something that makes your heart warm or that makes your, your, your feet tap or that makes you go like this. And if we can do that as much as we try on this show to do that, then we've succeeded. We haven't had a host on this show in eight years, um, and there's a reason for that. You know, we have so much music and there's so many performances that I sometimes feel that to have a host takes away from what we can do in terms of performances. But when you get someone like LL Cool J, whose cred is so much there, both in music and in television, it's, it's hard to deny that, you know, that he's gonna be great for us.